Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Quilting Block of the Month and we are going ahead and releasing uh, our first block that was for April, a little bit early just because of all that's going on and a lot of housebound people and this is called Road to Oklahoma it's very simple, you've got some half square triangles in here and then a whole bunch of just three and a half inch squares here so basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to first need to cut out you're going to need two, one of each color that you're using, the pink and the yellow in my case, five and a half inch squares. Then you're also going to need to cut out six corresponding colors in three and a half inch squares. And we are going to first start with our two bigger pieces here. We are going to turn them together, right sides together. And we are going to stitch a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around the edges of this block. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to sew just a quarter of an inch all the way around the square. Just going to take it. Okay, you just stitch right off. If you want, just turn back here. And okay. Now, as you probably see with the white thread, I've got it stitched all the way, quarter inch, all the way around the square. Now that we've got the quarter inch seam allowance or seam all the way around your block, you're going to take a ruler. You're going to line it up from that corner to this corner. And the best thing to do is to go ahead and line it up where you have the stitching meet, which may not necessarily always be exactly to your corner. Just take your rotary cutter and cut across. Pick it up. And you can, if you got a rotating mat, something that makes it easier to work, you can do that. Then do it again, the opposite direction. So you've got that cut. Now you're going to cut it this way. Cut it like that. And now you've got four triangles. And, sorry, I had to get my ruler. The, my favorite ruler for doing half square triangles is the quilt in a day ruler. It's very simple. You've got half, one, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. On this side, you rotate, you got one, two, three, four, five and a half. So these we want to be three and a half inch half square triangles. So we will line up the dotted line for the three and a half right along my stitch line. Just kind of centered in there, and you'll see I've got just a little bit of excess on the sides, and that's what we're going to trim off to make it right. And so, see, just got a little bit taken off, and then we can just press this open, and we've got our first three and a half inch half square triangle. Now, you do have the option. If you want to use a regular ruler, just go in, press it open, line it up with your line, diagonal line here, lining up your three and a half over here and your three and a half inch down at the bottom. And then you can just simply cut off, rotate it around, do the same thing. I'm just cutting my dog ears off here while I'm at it and do that. Now you want to cut those little dog ears off like I just did there. You did with scissors, with your rotary cutter, however you want. You're going to repeat that for all three, the other three pieces and I'll be right back with those done. Okay, just as a reminder, after you've pressed them open, if you use the quilt and day half square triangle 
uh, ruler or you press them open and try to do them that way. Make sure any of your dog gears like that are on here, you just clip those off. You can do scissors, do your rotary cutter, however you want them. Get those out, out of your way. So now you've got your four, tri four half square triangles. Okay, so now we've got our four half square triangles. We've got six of each of the two colors of three and a half inch squares. So everything's three and a half inch squares. So now it's just simply assembling it into this order. So we'll just get everything off. We've got a triangle here. Let's see, we're a solid square here, 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 and here. Then we're going to have them in the corners as well. And then we're going to have yellow here, yellow here, 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 and here. And so once you get your yellows and your pinks lined up, or whichever two colors you're using, then you're going to simply use your half square triangles. We're going to put this one this way. And that one, let's see, yep. Got this one wrong. This one this way, that one that way, and then down here, basically putting your points pointing inward. There is your half your all your triangles together for your Oklahoma's road to Oklahoma. Now simply the best thing to do is stitch these two together in a row down. Do this stitch this one down in a row, and then you can just stitch them together and then stitch all of your rows together. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. As a checkpoint, what I did is I stitched all these rows together. So they're all chain pieced together, and then this row here, I lay them back out. I make sure that I've got my pink diagonal, I've got my corners, little points almost, that everything's in the right order before I continue, because that's a good point to take seam rippers out, seams out. Flip them over, together and then I'm just going to sew my quarter inch seam down this direction. Okay so we've sewn the, those two rows down the middle so I've got four rows they're all attached. This is the way I do it just that it's less chance when you're sewing your rows in that you don't flip a row by accident or turn something over. If it's easier for you to cut the strings in between that's just do whichever way is easiest for you. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to take it over there and I'm going to simply press my seams out where they're going to nest. So one one direction, one the next direction, then the other, then the other. And I'm going to do that so that all three sets of my seams here, here, and here all will nest in each together. Okay, so I've got all my seams pressed. It's really important that you take the time to go ahead and press your seams. It just makes your block a lot more accurate. And then it lays nice and neat lays nice and neat. So I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these up and I'm going to stitch here and I'm going to stitch here. I'm going to make sure that I do nest these seams here as I go to make them go smoother. And so I'll just nest all of these with clips or pins or however it's easier for you or just as you go. I'll also do this for the bottom part here. Then I could do those two seams. And then I will come back and do the center seam. Let me sh get these two seams for you. Okay, so I've gone along and I've sewn along here and I've gone along there. Open them up. You see we've got our first two sets. You can stop and iron them here or you don't need to because you're not crossing any of those seams. You're going to fold it in half like this. You're going to do the same thing. Match up and nest your seams here to help line them up. Sew along this seam here, and then when we open it up, we'll have it all done. Okay, I've got ahead and I have sewn along here a quarter inch seam. So now we basically have our block. I'm just going to go press it real quick so we can see how it looks. Okay, I've got all my seams pressed, and I rolled all mine to one direction. You can put one this way, one the other direction. You can have them nested however you want to do them. 
if you want to turn and open up these seams to reduce your bulk you can do that it kind of depends on how you how you like it I usually just put it to one direction it makes it easier in case I need to match up with something else it's easy to block turn it over and there I go originally we had it our four squares there our two corner ones our four yellows to the points and then we got our making those almost look like arrows out with their checkered in the middle again here we go this is our extra block for March our road to Oklahoma Join us on the Facebook group and make sure you post your pictures. We love to see how everybody's doing.